damn, bro. They let Brittany Griner out of prison, bro. Congratulations, Brittany. You know, yeah, like she watches my videos. But, you know, if she ever does watch this, congratulations. Welcome home. Spend some time with your family, you know. And congratulations on making it to American soil. You know, good old-fashioned America. Joe Biden went ahead and made one of the worst trades in history. You know, he's the last person I'll pick as my general manager of my sports teams. But, you know, even though the pick was kind of janky, you know, the trade was kind of janky, you know, because we definitely took an L. But she came back over. She's home. To me, that's all that matters, bro. I can't really hate on that. I'm going to keep it a buck because nine years in Russian prison is crazy. And then they sent her to a labor camp. And I feel like that might have been a knee jerk reaction by Joe Biden, because normally when you get sent to labor camps, that's when all the suspicious shady stuff happens. You know, your organs might get sold, you know, like she might just disappear. God knows what they'll do to her, um, you know. So I think that was kind of a knee jerk reaction, but I'm glad that they did it. Um, you know, the dude that we traded, you know, her for was very, very dangerous. But, you know, I I think I can sleep comfortably at night, you know, and I think Joe Biden was thinking that as well. Not in the man's head, but, you know, sometimes you got to chalk up a big L, you know, for the greater good or at least for what seems to be the greater good. And I think that's what he did, you know, um, and, and that was pretty hard on her. You know, I made a video and I'm like, you know, how did you not know this? You're traveling and uh, not you're, you. She traveled internationally before and she traveled, um, you know, nationally. And she's been in like states like Texas and North Carolina where they don't allow no, no m marijuana, like medicinal, uh, recreational, like nada, like nothing. Like they ain't even letting CBD up inside there so i'm like how did you not know this like you should know the rules of travel by now both domestically and internationally you should know what time it is how did you you know you got lawyers you can afford lawyers i hope you have lawyers so you should have an agent you know and, and just in the WNBA, they i'm pretty sure they have like a rule book and you know what to do what not to do when traveling um, i'm pretty sure like every sports team has briefings for players when they come into the league because they want to protect their investment because you're technically an asset so if your asset makes bad decisions and gets thrown in jail it now becomes a liability you see you know what i'm saying so they totally get to teach the players when they first come to the league regardless of what sport the league is in you know the do's and don'ts and stay out of trouble and you know i'm over here like she should know better but you know what she made a mistake so people make mistakes you know um hers just happened to be in russia which is one of the worst places to make a mistake you know but um i, I definitely was pretty hard on her um but what made me you know not necessarily turn a new leaf and you know i still feel the same way i'm still keeping that same energy but when i think about you know especially as a father when i think about her family i cannot imagine you having a loved one and they just get like locked up internationally and you just don't see them anymore and they're all over the news and they're just never coming back and i bet you they had very limited uh very limited uh, communication you know directly um they're told i'm pretty sure russia was like yeah you can communicate with them Mm hmm. Through the through the government. You know, we want to we will speak to Joe Biden every time you talk to your family, you know, so that's probably they probably made it very difficult uh, for on but America and on her, um, you know, as far as communication goes. But, um, you know, yeah, dog, I'm glad she came home, bro. Like and it's like I felt that way, but I didn't go as hard as like some people went like some people were straight up snapping um you know as far as her making a bad decision like they never made no bad decisions you know i, I ain't holier than now you know i be roasting i ain't gonna lie but you know i be making mistakes too all right i done some stuff that could get me jammed up you know none of them just led me to prison yet knock on wood i'm joking but um but yeah so it's like when you really think about it from that perspective it's like all right dog and then you got the, the family and stuff i'm like all right all right you know and she's she's still a woman too bro i feel like people will be forgetting about that just because she's like a, a i can't say that word so on youtube but just because she's a like a, a stud you know just because she's a stud or like a woman that has like manly features or plays the man role you know she's she is she is a she's she's a part of the lgbt community am i allowed to see gay she's gay she is gay you know what i'm saying and shorty tall shorty's huge all right shorty's like six foot four 
two hundred and like two hundred pounds, maybe like she might be like two ten. She might be a little lighter, but she's she's heavier than like the average man, way taller than the average man. Voice is deeper than the average man, bro. Like she sounds like Shaq. No, I'm not roasting. She she has a deep voice. It is what it is. Um, but you know, men could be like intimidated by that. You know what I'm saying? So like they see her get jammed up, they're like, yeah, that's what she get. Throw away the key. You know, you start treating her like a ninja. You know what I'm saying? Like we treating Brittany Griner like a ninja. You know, she might act like a ninja, but you know, she's still she's still a woman. You know, not only is she a woman, she's somebody's she's somebody's she's she's somebody's somebody's husband. I guess, you know, because I guess she's not somebody's wife, but she's somebody's husband. She's somebody's daughter or son or whatever her pronouns are, you know, and she's somebody's friend. Um, you know, she's a much more than what we see her as. And, you know, um, I'm I'm glad that they went that hard um, as far as like the publicity. You know what I'm saying as well, bro, because Russia's the last place you want to get caught up inside man and you got to think about it like from a humane standpoint like they were definitely about to dog her and especially since um you know they, they tra- treated her well only because they knew they can get something out of us for it which they did and it was very successful um you couldn't get her out of our news you know out of our sports news or political news you, you could not get her off the screen um and she was pretty consistent over these past nine months and she did nine months since that russian russian jail you know what i'm saying but they ain't starve her or nothing they could have treated her like a normal like a normal inmate um she'd have came back looking frail cheekbones popping through her skin it would have been looking crazy man it could have went left but um you know i wouldn't wish that on nobody bro I, I make mistakes i'm not perfect you know what i'm saying and like I said, it happens. I um, hope she spends time with her family. And I'm, I'm glad this happened. You know, I can't hate. We took a big L, though, America. We took a big L. Um, I don't know how dangerous that is, you know, the dude that we traded um, her for is. I don't know if there are, you know, guidelines as far as what Russia can and can't do. But once we give dude to Russia, we can't really say anything because they're going to go do their own thing, you know. Um, I hope he doesn't start like, you know, they might make him fight in Ukraine or something crazy. I don't know what he's capable of. I didn't do too much research on the guy because I really don't care. I don't do I don't want to give that dude too much shine because he's not a good guy. But um, I hope, you know, he's not out there causing um, chaos and major damage to society. And I hope Russia, you know, um, takes care of him properly, um, you know. But let me know what you guys think inside the comments below. Um, congratulations, Brittany Griner. Um, I hope, you know, that this sheds light on other international, you know, people that are stuck in jams for petty stuff, um, even though this is like wax or it was like CBD or not CBD. It was like a uh, hemp oil or some crap like that. It was like a vape pen, you know, some real small, you know, cost her everything. And that's really the lesson to take away on all this is one small mistake can really screw you up, screw you over. All it takes is one small mistake. And it could cost you damn near everything. And you don't always realize that, you know. Um, and you just have to appreciate and be grateful for what you do have because you never know when you'll, you know, be locked up in Russian prison. So <laughs> don't go to Russia. <laughs> don't carry drugs on you in the airport or during traveling or any drugs. Just don't do drugs, you know. And keep your head on the swivel and everything will be fine. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Congratulations, Brittany Griner. Enjoy American soil. You back home.